Hey everyone, it's Tracy. In this quick tip designer tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways you can power duplicate a shape around a set anchor point. Many thanks to my student Nancy who asked me for tips on how to do this efficiently and without frustration. If you have something you'd like to see turned into a tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Now I'm using the iPad version of the app for this tutorial. However, the process is exactly the same in the desktop version. So let's get started. I have this petal shape and I want to turn it into a flower by duplicating the petals and rotating the duplicates around the center of the entire flower form. Now by default, if I select this shape and begin rotating it using its handle, it's going to rotate around the center of the shape. I need it to rotate around the bottom point. So with my move tool selected, I'm going to go up to its contextual menu and turn on enable transform origin. And when I do that, a little crosshair is going to show up in the middle. Now, again, because its default is to rotate around the center, that's where it's going to start, but I need to move it down to the bottom. Before I continue, I do want to note one thing, whether it's by design or by bug, sometimes when you duplicate your shape, if you've already enabled and moved your transform origin point, it can revert back to the middle on the duplicate. I personally find it's easier to avoid that frustration by first duplicating the shape and then moving the transform origin on the duplicate. From there, it'll stay in place as you use power duplicate to complete the overall shape. So I'm going to go ahead and tap and hold and hit duplicate. And you can see in my layers panel, I've got my duplicate there. I'll start dragging my transform origin point down. I want to make sure I have snapping on while I do that. And with my finger down on the canvas, I'll drag down so that it snaps into place. With snapping on and your finger on the canvas, it's going to keep it in a straight line and also snap it to the exact point that you want it. In this case, the middle control point on the selection. From here, I can hold my finger down on the canvas and begin to rotate my duplicate. And by holding my finger down, it's going to snap at 15 degree intervals. I rotated it to minus 60 degrees, and I don't want to release the shape because now I want to use power duplicate to duplicate and rotate my shape around the rest of the circle. As I do that, it's not only going to duplicate the shape, but it's also going to automatically rotate it at 60 degree intervals. So now my flower is done and I have six petals perfectly spaced around my form. But what if I want a specific number of petals that are perfectly spaced without having to do a lot of math beforehand? Well, that's where the other option comes in with the transform panel. Once again, I have a petal shape and this time I want to create a flower with five petals evenly spaced. To achieve this, I need to rotate the first duplicate to the exact degree that would allow me five petals with none out of joint. Now, of course, I could do some math ahead of time, but instead I'm going to let designer do the work for me and I'm not going to engage the transform origin point this time. Instead, I'm going to use the anchor point selector at the bottom of my transform panel. Now on the desktop, you'll see it to the left of the numbers in the transform panel. If you look at the anchor box and look at the selection around your shape, you'll notice that both have nine points. Now you can't see the one in the center of the shape itself, but remember the center is the default. Now in this case, I want to rotate my shape around the bottom control point, which is the point of the petal. So I'll go to my anchor point selector and tap the bottom middle node. Now, if I use my handle on the shape, it's still going to rotate around the center of the shape. However, if I go to my rotation slider in the transform studio, it's going to rotate around the point that I chose. I can also shear it from that point as well as size it up and down. Now again, in this case, I want to duplicate and rotate to get my five petal flower. To let designer figure out exactly how much I need to rotate that first duplicate, first I'll duplicate the shape. Then I'm going to tap into the rotation slider and key in 360. That's the exact circumference of a circle. I need to divide that by the number of petals, so divide it by five, and it's automatically going to move that first duplicate 72 degrees to the left, which means every other petal is then going to go 72 degrees. So if I go ahead and duplicate, it's automatically going to complete my five petal flower and everything is evenly spaced. 
So there you go, two ways to quickly use Power Duplicate to rotate objects around a set point. If you enjoyed this tutorial and like my teaching style, check out my full length classes both on Skillshare and my own site, The Creator Collage. I've linked both below. In the meantime, check out one of these tutorials next. Thanks for watching.